Helio Aguilar Mendez. He is the migrant farm worker who had been charged in the death of a St. John's County Sheriff's officer. The charges against Aguilar Mendez were dropped earlier this month after it was determined that Sergeant Michael Kunovich died from an undiagnosed problem. Today, Aguilar Mendez was released from federal custody. News for Dax reporter Ann Maxwell was in Baker County when it happened a short time ago, Ann. Stacey Aguilar Mendez had been in custody for about 10 months. I spoke with his attorney briefly today. He says his client was wrongfully in prison for that time. We were there, as you mentioned, as Aguilar Mendez was leaving the Baker County Detention Center. We saw him smiling, hugging his attorney. That's Philip Arroyo. Arroyo says a team of attorneys have been working pro bono to get Aguilar Mendez out of custody. He told me his client is a simple man who does not hold hate for anyone and is happy to be free. He said Aguilar Mendez is looking forward to being reunited with his father and his community. According to another attorney for Aguilar Mendez, he migrated to the U.S. from Guatemala through the southern border and was being held in a federal detention facility before being released to his father's family in central Florida. Arroyo tells me his client was technically here legally and has always appeared at his immigration hearings. He moved to St. Augustine to work on a farm and was living in a hotel, sending money to his family in Guatemala at the time of the incident. Today's a beautiful day. I think today is the embodiment of what our Constitution stands for. Um, we don't live in a perfect country, but the powers that our Constitution provide at the end of the day pull through. And despite of the injustice that Vilhilio had to live through, he was in prison for close to 10 months. Today, finally, he will be released from federal custody. Uh, it took a long journey to get here. It took a village. What, in your view, should have been done differently? I think the state attorney's office knew a long time ago that this case should have been dropped. Why they took almost 10 months to do it, that's something you guys are going to have to ask. And that's something that Volusia County voters are going to have to remember when they go to the voting, to the voting booth. And the same thing applies to Sheriff Robert um, Hardwick. And again, this all stemmed from an incident that happened about 10 months ago in St. John's County. That incident garnered, garnered national attention. Don't walk oh, away from me. No, no, it's all of you. It's all Don't of you. pull away from me. In May of 2023, oh, Sergeant Michael Kunovich approached 18-year-old oh, Virgilio stop. Aguilar Mendez. Oh, no. In this body camera video, he's seen eating dinner outside of a closed St. Augustine restaurant and talking on the phone. Sergeant Kunovich, who, according to the arrest report, believed the teen was engaged in suspicious behavior, asked him for ID. It appears he didn't understand, telling the deputy he didn't speak English. Aguilar Mendez is seen resisting as Sergeant Kunovich tries to pat him down. A struggle ensues and the deputy tases him. Deputies eventually force him into handcuffs. Aguilar Mendez had a pocket knife in his back pocket. After the encounter, Sergeant Kunovich collapsed. He died on the way to the hospital. The medical examiner said it was due to pre-existing cardiovascular issues. Aguilar Mendez was initially charged with felony murder of a police officer and resisting arrest. The murder charge was later downgraded to aggravated manslaughter of a police officer and eventually dismissed. Aguilar Mendez has been in custody since his arrest in May, but a judge eventually ruled he was not competent to stand trial because of educational, cultural, and linguistic challenges, as he speaks a regional dialect. On March 1st, the state attorney's office dropped the charges against him. Aguilar Mendez was transferred to the custody of Homeland Security to await his immigration hearing. Last month, Arroyo and other attorneys filed a civil rights lawsuit against the St. John's County Sheriff's Office alleging uh, Aguilar Menendez's rights were violated because the St. John's County deputies responding should have known or, or knew that he didn't speak English well and didn't try to communicate with him in a different language. As for what's happening next for Aguilar Mendez, his attorney would not say where he's going. He said for security reasons. He also said his client has a longstanding immigration hearing that's scheduled coming up that he will be attending. Reporting live and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.